Hello and welcome to video four of EVA Foam 101. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to shape EVA foam. Let's get started. There are two times in my process of when I'm working on a project where I'm actually going to be shaping the foam. Now, the first time I do that is pre-gluing all of my pieces together. Why? Because if I'm working on a helmet, this needs to be curved before I start gluing things together or else I'm not really going to get the shape that I'm searching for, especially when you're going around those curves. And the second time I will do some minor shaping is after it's been glued. Why I only do minor shaping after it's been glued is because as soon as you glue it and you start using your heat gun to start shaping it again, the heat gun will actually activate the glue and then it could start falling apart or creating, you know, valleys um, between your seams. So just make sure that you're really careful while you are shaping after you glue. One of the big reasons you'll need to shape your EVA foam is say you're working along a curved surface. This is a pattern piece uh, that was um, left over from a helmet that I made. So after I've cut it out, before I start gluing the pieces together, I wanna make sure that it's gonna have this curve. How do I do that? I heat it up and curve it around something that's gonna give me the shape I want. You can use, you know, if you have a curved anvil, a uh, 3D printed one, or a metal one, or you can use sides of tables I've seen. You know, really it's anything that is curved that isn't going to be ruined by the heat that is transferred from that. So I would heat this up. And what you really want with EVA foam is it will change color. So once you see that color, once you see it, start to flex you're probably on your way and then what you do put it on your curved surface and actually use it to bend the way that you're searching for now i usually hold it in place until it doesn't feel hot anymore then i check it so there might be several times as i'm working on a piece where i'm like okay that looks pretty good and then I'll reheat it to make sure that it's actually, you know, the, the curve that I am looking for. Um, and then I can start gluing these pieces together, you know, glue this. It also allows if you have any um, uh, pieces that you've cut in order to make curves, it makes gluing those all together a lot easier. Those seams will look a lot better. Now, if you're working on a shield or something that needs to be curved like that, it is great to have a little bit of curve in it before you start gluing it because that'll only mean that your curve will look better. Now, if we're gonna talk about gauntlets, right? Okay, you you wanna make these really cool gloves, and which is super awesome, but on every finger it has these points that either go forwards or backwards to create almost like a scale nail look. So what I would do in that instance is with your pieces that you have cut out, you know, these are just cast offs from another project. Um, I would find a pipe or uh, something cylindrical that is kind of the shape that you are looking to get with your, your finger. Um, and then I would use it to create those curves. Um, some people like to do it in a concave manner, you know, where it just is, a, a curved piece that they lay it into and heat it up. That is an option as well if you have that available to you. Um, I usually readily have pipes, you know, either I'm using it for something or another project. So what I would do in that instance is heat up your project, heat up your foam. Make sure you see that color change in the EVA foam. and then take it and use it to curve. In this situation, I would probably, if I was gonna be doing a lot of these, I would grab my gloves so that it wasn't so bad on my hands. And now you have a curve. If you want a more dramatic curve, that's when you start, you know, 
curving things for your finger, that's really great. But this is a great way to shape your pieces before you start assembling. This will only make your life easier after you glue and you have limited you know, ability to shape them once they are glued. If you have any questions or, or want uh, advice on certain projects, make sure to comment below. I'm always willing to help out. Of course, I've added a blog post down in the description to help you through uh, some of the challenges or some more tips and tricks that I use for shaping EVA foam. As always, like and subscribe to this channel for more EVA foam 101 videos as well as making videos. Happy making!